Good morning, it's Mark Liebovit. It's Monday, February 8th, and this is a Liebovit volume reversal tutorial here on eSignal. Let's jump to the charts. We're looking at the uh, dollar index ETF on the weekly chart. As you can see here, we have a whole preponderance of Liebovit negative volume reversals stretching all the way back to uh, March 16th of last year. In fact, I don't see one positive along the entire spectrum here, despite the fact we did get a bit of a rally here in October. But you can see this past week we generated another negative volume reversal. So as Zill says to me, the dollar is going to be under pressure here, and maybe you get a little bit of a technical bounce. But uh, volume across the board is saying the dollar's rally that we've seen uh, that culminated last March is in jeopardy, and we could work down to lower levels. In theory, that should be good for the precious metals and commodities, but we have seen days like on Friday where gold was up along with the dollar. So at the moment, this is just a picture of what the uh, intermediate to uh, longer term trend appears to be for the dollar, and I want to show it to you. Uh, obviously, on a weekly chart, you have to decide if you're going to trade weekly bars or not, but sometimes I look at the weekly and the daily to give us a perspective of what's happening. Meanwhile, jumping back to... Uh, E signal. We do offer uh, the Leibovitz volume reversal indicator in three versions: a sequential, which you see here on the screen that I use during these videos; the directional, which filters out repetitive VRs; and the two-day version, which is based on the premise that following a negative or positive VR, particularly on the daily bars, we tend to get follow-through for one or two bars following it. But as you can see, even as I just showed you on the weekly, uh, you could get follow-through following the uh, negative VR, following the same two-day principle. If you have some interest in uh, brtrader.com, please go to my website. We have a whole host of newsletters that uh, we offer, and I appreciate you checking in on this Monday morning. Thanks again. We'll speak to you next week.